Good morning guys, so today we are three days out, so let's check how much we weigh here actually, on my scale too, I am, I do have my phone on me too, so let's see, no way, 151.1, holy crap, keep mine, oh, I didn't really eat, um, didn't have much water, and just very depleted right now. So, three days out, very depleted, or two days out actually, very depleted. Tomorrow is a big carb up, so that weight's gonna be shooting up. But right now, I actually gotta get some stuff for my car and gotta shower. After a shower, then I gotta do make breakfast at 3 a.m., guys. So, got three hours of sleep as well. Two days out. <laughs> Alright guys, so we gotta make breakfast now. We got here our oats measured out, 45 grams. Coffee, about <laughs> one tablespoon. Got Gonna be making coffee, or no, gonna be making my egg whites there. Coffee here. So it's gonna be coffee, egg whites, and, oh sorry, coffee, oats, egg whites. Got my containers dried up here. And let's open this up. So we got all three containers there. Got about 50 to 20 pieces of chocolate chips, egg whites, and peanut butter. So let's get this all started here. Gotta make my breakfast now. Okay, so we got the finished product here. We got the coffee, got the oats, got the egg whites. Yes, that is very sloppy. So when you aren't cooking at home, you know, the the tools you have, you just gotta kinda work with. So I got some scrambled eggs here, put some salt on it. So I got cinnamon, um, I got my peanut butter, uh, dark chocolate chips, and my black coffee. So let's get this food in our system. And then we gotta make sure we got every single thing packed. I'm ready to go. Okay. So, whew. it's about 3.45 a.m. I gotta eat, guys, so I'm gonna dig in. This looks really good.
Okay guys, we are on our way now to the airport. This is the biggest competition to date. I want to thank Mo over here uh, for helping me out. I mean, this was a last minute thing. I needed a ride to the airport. It's about 4.05 a.m. So it's a huge, huge help. So, I mean, guys, only hours away. Hours away from Montreal. This is big, very big. So when I get to Montreal, quite a few things I have to do. I have to go to the gym. I have to get some groceries. So got to get everything settled. Um, but it's going to be a big adventure and I'm going to bring you guys all along with it. Okay guys, so we are here in Calgary now, uh, we just landed, it was only like a 30 minute plane, it was cool to see kind of how the clouds were because it was like really rainy and then we got on top and just pure clouds, sun was out, so, um, but now here in Calgary, uh, got another 6 hour flight, I thought it was 4 hours but 6 hours um, and then we will be in Montreal, so looking forward to it, but it's going to be another 6 more hours. guys I'm here like oh my gosh oh my gosh <sighs> I got a I got a big story to explain and uh, I'm a little stressed I'm super tired I'm really hungry so first guys let me eat let me put those ones away groceries and settle in settle in just just a little bit here. Okay guys, so we got a couple things set already here. We got our sweet potatoes about there. Got the grocery bag on the ground. Probably not that good. But they've got my dark chocolates. Now these, 
are for just before going on stage. This also is just before going on stage. This is going to be spaced out through the first day. This one's going to be spaced out through the second day. Um, I don't think I'll be eating all of this to be honest, but just in case. Got my peanut butter for the morning and for the, ah, oh, rice cakes. I forgot rice cakes. Anyways, fuck. Okay, well, I got water here. Um, let's see what else here. Okay, I got my bell peppers for today. I got cucumbers for today. I also got some steak. I got four chicken breasts. And I got frozen veggies, just one. Um, other than that, I also got a couple things here. So I got cinnamon as well for my oats. So here's the oats, olive oil, and salt and pepper for the chicken and the um, steak. So right now the only thing I'm missing is... Oh, somebody's walking upstairs. Um, <laughs> the only thing I'm missing, guys, is a... What am I missing? Oh, there's a water boiler. Um, but I'm missing rice cakes. Uh, I know my shirt's off. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm going to make some food or warm up some food, cut some veggies, and uh, let's settle in. Let's talk about the whole journey. I mean... Didn't want to vlog too much because I mean I, this is the first time I ever traveled this far on my own. I'm in freaking Montreal, guys! Like that's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, okay, let me settle in. Let me let me settle in first. Okay guys, got some chicken breasts here. So you just saw that I worked out earlier. Next step, gotta cook some chicken breasts for tomorrow. I already got all my sweet potatoes cut. So we are good for that. I still gotta bake them. But I got sweet potatoes. I got chicken. Now I'm gonna be making steak tomorrow. So I'll be having steak that night, Friday night and Saturday morning before the show. Then I have two more pieces of steak which I'll be having either on Saturday or Sunday, depending on how things go, um, and depending on how my body looks. On top of that, I might have to buy more steak later tomorrow morning, we'll have to see, but I do have to get rice cake, so I am gonna wake up early, roughly about 7 a.m., make breakfast, eat, shower, and then go to the grocery store. But, let's get this chicken cooked here. Okay guys, I think it's finally time to talk about my trip. So this is my first trip ever by myself at this distance. I'm here in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, we're going to be competing on the national stage. It's going to be my biggest, my biggest competition I've ever done. This will be my seventh competition, which my favorite number is seven. And it is lucky number seven. What can I say? Hoping, you know, it all turns out in the end. But... Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about this comp now. It's a national level competition. So there's going to be athletes from BC, athletes from Alberta, um, all over really. So all the provinces are going to be, you know, bringing in their best, uh, athletes and they're all going to compete on one stage. And that stage is going to be here on Saturday. Now I'm doing two shows Saturday and Sunday, but let's first talk about that Saturday show. So the Saturday show um, now that's a natural competition, so they will be drug testing the athletes. Uh, I'm not quite sure the protocol behind that right now, uh, but 
as far as I know, is a nat natural, natural uh, competition, which I'm happy to hear. So I'm doing the men's physique division. Um, the way it's the way it works is you verse people your height. Now, if there's only a certain amount of competitors, they kind of just mush them all together. But men's physique and shooting for first place. And if you win your class now, all the winners of each class will compete for the overall. Sorry, guys, I'm really depleted right now, so you know, bear with me. But um, so that's the show I'll be doing Saturday. Tomorrow I'll be waking up. We gotta go eat breakfast, so we gotta make breakfast, eat breakfast, go to the grocery store, get some more uh, rice cakes, a couple more things, I forgot, I still have to write it down. Um, but I noticed I need to definitely increase my water intake right now because I'm feeling really flat since on the airplane I didn't get much water. And it, it took me about an hour for my first flight and then I had a two hour layover and then it was about four hours to this, to Montreal. And then from Montreal, I took a taxi. Now that taxi was 63 bucks, $63 just to get to, uh, to where I needed to be. So, I mean, that, that, that threw me off a bit. Um, but then after the taxi, I went straight. So the, the taxi guy now, um, on the way to the place I'm staying at, there is a grocery store. That grocery store is about, roughly about 11 minute walk, so I don't mind walking. So I said, just drop me here and I'll get what I need to get. So I got dropped there, got everything I needed, but oh, I, I bought a lot of stuff. So, I mean, it was, it was definitely really tough. My shoulders are just done from just carrying out. It took me like 20 minutes instead of 11 minutes because I had to like stop multiple times. Um, I was so depleted, I didn't have any water, I didn't even have any food. So now I'm kind of more replenished. I had some food, I had some water, I had some sodium. So I'm feeling a whole lot better. I did a home workout, as you guys saw, is more of a super setting of almost everything, every muscle group. And it was uh, just higher intensity, get some blood flowing to the muscle, get the feeling of the muscle pumped up. And I did a little bit of practice posing after, so I know what it feels like when I'm on stage, right? Because that's what I'm doing before I go on stage. Now, <laughs> tomorrow, let's talk a little bit about tomorrow. Uh, Gotta get tanning, athletes meeting. Um, I'll be getting my Team Alberta jacket as well, so I'll be showing you guys that. I'm gonna bring you along for tomorrow's video, but I mean, I know this video today was a short one. Uh, I mean, this is my first journey, guys. I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting lost and, you know, making make it to where I needed to be. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm here, <laughs> safe and sound. We are all set. Um, the competition is around the corner and I'm so excited. I'm like, it's really hard to explain with words, but I'm ready. I'm ready to compete. Um, I'm ready to battle it out on stage. No athlete is going to win without a fight. And I'm telling you, I'm going to fight on that stage. So all the athletes better bring their A game because Mio Kiskito is coming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, Please leave a like below. I'm going to go get some rest right now. I got to sleep. Please <laughs> leave a like below. Come subscribe and get aesthetic bra.